the grace of God, I am here. Yeah. Would you look at somebody and say, keep it real. You didn't have to be here. Keep it real. You didn't have to be here. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Don't, don't, don't get deep on me. Come on, sir. I've been here. I've been through some stuff, and I know that I shouldn't be here right now. Come on, sir. And, and, and just for the record, I'm not impressed <laughs> with nobody. And I don't need you to be impressed with me. Come on. Because if it wasn't for the grace of God, yes, hallelujah, we would be dead and in our grave. Do I have anybody in here that God has kept you? Yeah. Hallelujah. So because of that, I am who I am. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, and, and there's no time for false humility. Yeah. Did anybody ever go through hell in your life yes, as a person sir. living after you say yes to God? Yes, Come on. Did anybody here go through some stuff? Yes, yet going through some stuff. Yes, well, I want you to understand the biblical principle says that you must pay for the anointing. Yes, sir. Yes, and if you've been through some stuff, I want you to know you pay for the glory. Yes, that is on your life. Yes, yeah. So I don't waste no time here today acting like you ain't anointed. Come on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Look at somebody like you mean that thing and say the glory is on me. The glory is on me. Because I paid for it. Because I paid for it. Uh, some of y'all paid a hefty price. Uh -huh, so I don't have time for no false humility. I am anointed. Tell somebody, I am anointed. I am anointed. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. I hope you all are ready for what I want to share with you. Because I got it on a little piece of paper. <laughs> One piece of paper. Yes, sir. That's it. Yes, sir. I ain't going to be long. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to share with you, amen, that's Matia. <laughs> amen, she's something special. <laughs> you just think of gone. Gone, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still I've been a long time. You know the beauty of this, and, and I feel such joy and liberty here, which tells me that the Holy Ghost is here. Yeah. And that the Spirit of the Lord is. And what I, I appreciate about the liberty that I sense in this place it is that you understand the importance yes. of allowing God to be God. Yeah. Even in the midst of what you are going. Amen. 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 So let's dig into the book. Amen. Uh, I'm going to share uh, the text, the theme text, and then from there we're going to unpack this thing. Okay. And, and, uh, and I'm excited about what God is doing. Amen, someone? Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. If you want to take notes, I recommend you do. Amen. Not because of what I'm saying, but because anytime the word comes forth, trust me, you either need it that day or you're going to need it later. That's it. And, and, and you need to be able to use all of this technology to bring it back up. Yeah. Amen. What happens if you eat something that you ought not have eaten? and it doesn't agree with your body, you regurgitate it, whether you like it or not. And one thing I found out about when you regurgitate something that doesn't agree with your body, your body doesn't care where you are. Right. It doesn't care how dressed up you are. Come on. When there is something in you that is dangerous to your body, it says it comes out now. That's right. That's right. And that's one thing about the word of God. You have to use, and you have to take notes. You have to use your phone and log it. Notepad, and if you got an iPhone, you use Pages. I don't care. Microsoft, it doesn't matter. You take very intricate notes because when something happens, you've got to go get it now. Yeah. 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 Somebody say now. Now. So here you have in your theme in Romans chapter 8 and verse 31. Uh -huh. All right, I don't all know right. What your custom is, but I like to stand up to honor the word of God. Because his word stands up for us. That's right. Amen? Amen. 
I want someone with that cogent voice. In the Lord, say it, you know what the voice is. <laughs> to read for me. To read for me. 8 and 31. Our Amen. theme text. Go. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? All right, that's our theme text. Mm -hmm. If God be for us, yes, sir. who can be against us? If God be for yeah. us, who can be? Three elements to that. Us, God, and them. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Us, God, That's and them. That's our theme. I, I want to unpack that in a, in a different level. Amen. And I need you to go to the book of Hebrews, the book of faith, and chapter 7. Hebrews chapter 7. And we want to read verse 1 through 4 and then jump down to verse 11 through 16. Is that okay? Yes, All right. It says in verse 1 through 4, For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham, Returning from the slaughter of the kings, he returned right from war, and he blessed him. He blessed him. Melchizedek blessed him. Mm -hmm. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth a tithe, uh -huh. part of all. First being by interpretation, king of righteousness, talking about Melchizedek. And after that, also king of Salem. Two titles, king of righteousness, king of Salem, Melchizedek, which is king of peace. Now he has three designations, king of righteousness, king of Salem, and king of peace. Notice what it says in verse 3, without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days nor end of life. But made Melchizedek, you know, uh -huh. like unto the Son of God, abideth a priest. Somebody say priest. 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 Continually. Continually. Verse 4 says, now consider how great this man was, unto whom even the patriarch Abraham gave the tenth of his spoils. Now jump quickly to verse 11. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the Lord, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek? Yes. And not be called after the order of Aaron. For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the Lord. Yeah. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaineth to another tribe of which no man gave attendance at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning a priesthood. And it is yet far more evident uh -huh. for that after the similitude of Melchizedek, there arises another priest who is made not after the law of a carnal commandment, uh -huh. but after the power of an endless life. You may have your seat. Yes, sir. But after the power of an endless life. Yes, sir. I want to talk to you from the sermon title, I have tapped into the power of an endless life. Yeah. Would you look at someone and say, I have tapped into the power. 
I have tapped into the power of an endless life. Now look at it again and say, therefore, therefore, I'm 